Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to first thank you for for giving me the opportunity to talk to you about the uh, the governor's state of the state message. I think there are a number of things that we can do, and let me just list a few things that we can do. Stop spending, and it's a very simple two-word statement. Stop spending. Reasonably revise the pension system in the state of New Jersey. We tried to do this two years ago, and we were, we were stymied. The committees were put together. There were a whole host of recommendations made, and they were basically set aside by the administration and not followed through. Freeze taxes at every level of government. Make sure that we send a message to the public that their elected officials fully understand the gravity of the financial condition of each family in the state of New Jersey and that the seriousness of the issues that you talk about at your kitchen table are that serious to us in Trenton because something is out of whack when the reality of Trenton doesn't meet the reality of what happens in your very daily lives. So I ask that, as I said once before, taxes should be frozen at all levels of government for a minimum of 18 months until we get through this financial crisis. Review every aspect of school funding even in spite of what the Supreme Court says, if we cannot get a grasp on the school spending issue, we will continue to spiral into an economic uh, cavern. And I think that we need to ensure that every child, regardless of what area of the state they live in, has an adequate and proper education. We are taking funds from one group of, of individuals, putting them in other groups, and actually creating financial crisis in many of the suburban and rural school districts. Review all aspects of the state purchasing practices. The state of New Jersey right now cannot purchase items that you as an individual can go out and purchase at the same price you can purchase them at. You could go out, ladies and gentlemen, and purchase a computer far less than the state of New Jersey can go out and purchase the same computer. It's, it's a shame. It's, it's basically being uh, absolutely, positively wasteful with your money. We must do everything that we can do to ensure that the spending practices of the state of New Jersey are come into the 21st century. I estimate that if we do a very good job, we could probably save a billion to a billion and a half dollars in state purchases. Review all contracts, then by what I mean by contracts. There are third-party contracts with various associations and organizations. The number of organizations that have sprung up in the last eight to ten years has been astronomical. Many of those processes are duplicative. Many of the administrations on those, on those um, associations and nonprofits are unnecessary. There are other agencies within the framework of nonprofits like uh, the ARC programs, Catholic charities that have been doing this work for years. And what we have done is split these organizations up and not fund them in a way that we should be able to fund them because we are paying exorbitant administrative costs above and beyond uh, what is needed to absolutely deal with our clients. Remove any mandates that have been put on state government, county governments, and school districts that are not absolutely for safety and for um, health reasons. We in the legislature seem to think that uh, we have the, the, the majesty of thought and process to come up with uh, splendid ideas. Those splendid ideas are costing each and every taxpayer in the state of New Jersey tens of thousands of millions of dollars a year, and we need to bring that process to an end. I want to close by saying to you that there are alternatives. The Republicans have put forth a plan for an affordable New Jersey that I think is viable. The options ought to be looked at. They should not be just summarily dismissed by the Democrats because they do not cater to specific groups that they want to cater to. I just think it's important that every person in the state of New Jersey, whether they live in Cape May or High Point, New Jersey, whether they're at, at the Jersey Shore or along the Delaware River, feel as though they're being treated fairly and honestly and directly in a time of financial crisis. We owe you that, you deserve it, and we as elected officials I think are obligated to give it to you.